These are earrings that Amelia brought. She made them. They're a um, possible party favor. She brought a whole suitcase full of party favors. Guitars have like mm -hmm. on two sets. Mm -hmm. Like one of those. I think I'm going to have to steal Marion's necklace. He, he, he oh, talks about nice? like Devo and how that really what is music. It's, it's a camera. The play was written about 1980. <laughs> okay. I probably, I probably wasn't there then. It is complicated. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. It's a little frightening. trick-or-treating she, she wasn't into candy and stuff so she'd always go out and buy these like Halloween cookies and dole them out to the back seat instead of getting to go trick-or-treat you get a cookie you get a cookie it's a pumpkin cookie but you get a cookie we moved every Halloween so uh, a memory that has always uh, stuck with me as mother is from our trip across the country on Route 66 when we first moved to California. And there was all of us in the car, and we took Route 66, even though I think the interstate was already built, um, because the Route 66 was also the original California trail. And um, we had a book, a book that my mother had found called uh, The Tree and the Trail, which was about the old uh, California Trail. And we would um, look for things from the story uh, all along our way. Um, my favorite memory of Mother's birthday, I think it was her 80th birthday. We all got together and just had a really nice time. That was just really good. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, we had these huge braided lollipops and it was Halloween and they were disgusting by the end of the trip and we wanted to eat them and they threw them away because they were just like bleh. Yeah, there was these round these big round braid they have with braiding. Well, I remember just the one where um, Max and Zach sang the song. Mm -hmm. I think that was, was it last year, a couple years ago? Couple that years. was my, mm -hmm. about my only memory. Okay. No. Okay. I was a baby then. I don't have any memories before White Fox. I don't remember leaving the apartments that I always hear about. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure even where they were, whether they were Baldwin Hills or Baldwin Park. I've never quite understood that. Baldwin. Um, my favorite birthday of Sally's that I remember was the very first one I went to when she was still living in San Pedro. It was in the late 90s, I think, maybe. And um, the thing I remember most clearly about that party was that Amelia was given the task of buying fruit for the buffet and Amelia living in Washington DC doesn't have access to as much good fresh fruit as as they do in California and so I went to the grocery store with her and she went insane and she just started buying like huge bags of fruit like 20 30 oranges and, you know just just I kept saying Amelia stop stop but she wouldn't stop she brought home like an entire shopping cart full of fruit. And the funny thing was that almost all got ate, eaten, so if she was right, I was wrong. I didn't meet your mom until I moved to San Pedro, which probably would have been in 75, I think mm -hmm. it was. Yeah. And uh, we had a common friend, and uh, Carol and I were going to bars together, and uh, Carol invited Sally to come, and she just thought that was the most risque thing that she'd ever done, going to a bar. I've known Sally for eight years, and already she's my lifelong friend, my unforgettable lifelong friend. And all the moments, I cannot enumerate all the moments that she has been a good friend to me. But this takes the cake to be included amongst her talented, generous family and to eat this delicious chocolate birthday cake is really a high point in, in our relationship. Holly Slocum, my dear friend and neighbor, has given me one of my favorite possessions. A favorite little footstool, and it's just right for me to sit on. And the rest of my life, I'll be grateful to Sally for that little footstool. <laughs> okay, my favorite experience of Sally is going to exercise class with her and watching her moves because she has the most amazing dance moves, and she doesn't just exercise for good health. She exercises as an aesthetic experience. She understands well how to combine the reason of human nature with our artistic capabilities, and she's a truly remarkable woman. Oh. Happy birthday, Sally. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you and many 